everybody welcome back we are day 19 of the 100 day project yeah you can probably tell my enthusiasm's kind of running out <laughs> no I do enjoy it but I'm just feeling uh we've got the holiday weekend you know and uh, oh well we won't carry on about it okay what are we doing today she's going to alter some glassine bags really easy but um, they do add a lot to your journal, so let's just, for those who, who are into journaling and maybe are following me, um, when this is done, this isn't the journal this is going to go into, but just to show you guys, well, let me do it over here. So, uh, so you just, um, you'll add glue along here, and then that way you've got a pocket behind and the bag itself so you end up with two pockets there so that's how that's going to work for those who really aren't into junk journaling so let me just let you see close up so what's going to be involved is some collaging then we're going to do some stamping on the cotton uh, you know muslin cotton and then um, stitching and then we'll adhere this to the bag itself and then just finish it off with some more twine Really easy project. Um, but like I said, I, I do, they're just really pretty. Okay, here we go. Let's get going. Let's get going. This is a slightly different size, but I wanted it um, so that I could fold this up and make a tiny pocket there. So let me just go ahead and do some collaging back here. You're probably starting to see a bit of a theme now. Um, like I said to you, this is a journal that I'm going to be doing. I just don't quite know when. And this is um, using these same papers. <coughs> I'm um, sorry about the noise in the background, guys. I've got um, I've got to get some things printed, and so I'm multitasking today. And I do apologize for that. I hope it's not going to be too annoying. But um, it's I've got to get these kits printed so I can get started, kind of pulling things together. I've had some people asking me, well, how long does it take you to do a journal? And I really cannot answer that because I don't normally just sit down and do um, a journal in one go. I have a process. Um, if they're the big tomes, that's a whole process in itself. And then, obviously, if they're fabric, um, that's a whole other thing. And so I just get multiple things going because um, yeah, I get really um, bored working with the same color scheme. So I like to kind of mix it up and jump around a bit. Ah, da, 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 da. everybody's um, doing okay today. I'm getting so excited because I've got so many um, markets to look forward to and car boots. Oh, I'm excited to get back out because I've been getting some really good deals. It's nothing I need. But I'm just always on the lookout for something that's a little bit different. So that'll be fun because I um, there's a car boot here that I really enjoy, but they're closed during the winter, and this will be the first weekend they're reopening. Re reopening, so I'm really excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. See, I feel like 
I need something. These are, like I said to you guys before, I really enjoy things like this when you're kind of burnt out on big projects. It's nice just to step back and do some stuff that you don't have to think too much. Um, well, let's see. I feel like maybe I'll put my wording up there this time. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll finish this off in a little bit. Okay, let me get something here, a stamp. This one says journey. So let me get some ink <clears throat> and we'll get that stamped out. Okay, here's my fabric again. The traffic is just so, so bad when the holiday weekends come around. Um, I'm really dreading. I've got to do a grocery shop and oh, you know, I don't like doing that you know, on the best of times. And I'm just thinking, oh, I don't know. I'm really, really dreading doing it this time. But I've left it, unfortunately. I put it off as long as I can, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm in there uh, eating crackers and celery. No way, I'm not going to the grocery store today. <laughs> That's, it is, it's pathetic, but actually that's still too big. Let me take that down just slightly. Because I really like that showing, so I'm thinking if I can work this in. Yeah, let me just take a bit more off of this. to enjoy going to the grocery store um, back in my previous life when I had uh, time time on my hands but those days are gone and now I hate it I absolutely hate going because it's just um, I don't know, people are just not nice anymore. They, um, I mean, what happened to saying excuse me when you're trying to go buy somebody in the grocery store? Oh, that's just like a major pet peeve for me. It just don't, it only takes a second to say, uh, can you excuse me? But no, they want to just, uh, brush you with the, um, the grocery cart and, uh, and then look at you like, what are you doing? What are you doing looking at those can of peas? <laughs> okay, I wasn't intending to put that down there, but I think in the end it's going to have to be. So, while I've been making this, I've decided I think that this 
lends itself to some black thread on the exterior here. So I'm going to do that, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back. I've drawn a, run a stitch along here. That way it wouldn't affect. Oh, my goodness. Well, there you go. There's a blooper right there. I glued all that to the back of that. Oh, well. You know what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, you got to love it. I'm going to snip that off. Oh, that's hilarious. Now, see, this is what's happening. i got to pay more attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> that's okay. We'll solve that. Let me see. Where's my little punch? Oh, well. I'll come back with the um, circle punch, and I'll just... Do a little notch out of that. I can't believe that. That's hilarious. Um, okay, so I've run the stitch so that it wouldn't affect, you know, we can still make two, well actually this will be a three pocket because you'll have here, here, and then here that you can add some things. Um, I've stitched around that and then I've just grabbed a little piece um, of lace. I want to put that underneath as well and then we'll just do a little bit more to try to finish this off. That's so funny. Uh, but that's the way it works, doesn't it? We try to prepare and uh, things don't always go to plan. Let's stick that down there. Okay, now I want to use another little tiny tag. I keep a little box of these when I've got, um, you know, little off cuts. I, I'll just run it through the machine and keep those handy. I don't know, they just kind of finish out. A little project, I think. Sweet, isn't it? to put those stamps, the tiny stamps. I try to put those away once I've used them because otherwise they're so easy to lose. I'm just going to add a little bit more um, linen thread to this and then we'll put the little tag on and then this is going to be ready to go in the journal. I'm so excited to get on with um, with this journal because I've got quite a few little elements already done for it, so that's awesome when that happens. It's kind of chilly here today, but they're forecasting. Um, it's a chilly start, but they're forecasting. We might see, oh, I don't know, it's in Celsius. But it's something like 20, <coughs> 22 or 23 degrees Celsius. And I don't, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but I know it's, it's going to be toasty. I should be able to wear um, 
some uh, short sleeves. So, so that'll be nice. That will be nice, nice, nice. Okay, guys. Oh, dear. Okay, let me just show... So this is this is what we will have. I'll, I'm gonna when I find when I find that bunch, I'm gonna cut that little notch out, and then that way I can either put a journaling um, card in there or a tag, and then there'll be one behind I can do, and then I can put something small here. So let me just show you up close. Sorry, that's that's gonna bug me. All right, so there we go. There's our finished. Make sure it's all in frame. That's our finished glassine. And if you don't want to adhere it to a journal page, just make it a floating one. Um, so that's how you make a glassine pocket in reverse. And then that's the first one I did. So there you go, guys. There's the project for the day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.